A mother has um, been talking online about her decision to allow her six-year-old daughter to take what she describes as a duvet day. OK, so her child wasn't ill. Um, she was a bit teary and a bit kind of maunchy and said, oh, I just don't want to go to school today, Mummy. So she allowed her to stay off. And she does say, you know, she had quite a chilled day at home and she said, I did worry that, am I setting a precedent here? Maybe tomorrow she's going to do the same thing. And she didn't. Next day, she was fine. And she said, but since then, if I feel that she needs that time, then I let her stay at home. Oh, I'd love her to be my mum. <laughs> <laughs> but my mum, if I ever said, Mum, I don't... Even if I said I don't feel well, not like yeah. I just don't feel like going to school, she... Or her answer was, two answers, you'll be better after a cup of tea, <laughs> and you'll be fine once you get to school. And if I trudged to school, probably vomiting on the way, but I still went to school. Um, so, you know, that was how my mum treated me. Um, oh, I don't know. I, I have think to admit, it's... I've done it once with I Jack. So bear in mind he's 17. Because <laughs> I read that straight away, and my natural response is like, no, ridiculous. I mean, you're absolutely setting a precedent, and then every time they don't feel like yeah. going to school, what do you do? But I have to hold my hands up. Jack did primary school very young, and he just was a bit teary, and he just wasn't himself. I got him to school, and even going in, he was dragging behind. I was like, come on, what's the matter? And I said to him, are you not feeling very well? And he was like, no, I'm fine. And he just wasn't feeling it. Mm. And I got to the, the almost the classroom door, and I thought, do you know what, maybe he just needs a day mm. off with me. And I was off that day. Um, and I said to the teacher, I think I'm just going to take him home. She said, OK, we'll see yeah. you tomorrow, Jack. And as soon as we came out of the school, he skipped along, we went and had hot chocolate or something, yeah. whatever we did. <laughs> Played a bit of Power Rangers in the afternoon. But that's, and he was but fine. But that's set an unfortunate precedent. And yeah. also, you had a day off work anyway. Yeah. How would you feel if your kids did that and you would have to take days off specially? Well, I wouldn't. That's you, wouldn't. No. you wouldn't? No. You wouldn't? No, because I did, I did think, you know, am I... Oh, now I've set a red for my own back here because is he going to try this tomorrow yeah. and I am working? Well, then it would have just been... In, in you go. But don't you but think you've got have to say to once. kids, you've got to say to kids, look, whether you like it or not, nobody wants to go to school. I didn't want to go to school. You know, it's normal not to want to go to school. Do you think all the people who have to go and work stack shelves in Tesco's or work yeah. on tills or work in factories get up in the morning, do you think... 90% of them really want to go in and do their boring job? No, they do not, but they don't have the luxury of having a duvet day because they need the money. They need the money from that relatively boring job to keep their yeah. families together. And I think you've got to instill in kids that sometimes in life you've got to do things that, that are a bit don't tough want to do. and unpleasant, so get on with it no, and Dan get out from under that dude. Johnny, I've I've done done it, I agree with everything, and that's, that's the generation I was brought up in. But I have to say, having two kids in today's world, the pressures that they have are not the pressures... No, Janet, honestly, the pressures they have on social media, the pressures that they have at school, they're... Ex they're, they're that they have more exams than I ever did in my whole lifetime. They are so under pressure, and I know my kids. My kids love going to school, but... And they've never done this, but if one day Zach turned around to me and said, Mummy, I think I just need a day off, I'm just not feeling great, and if he was physically not ill, I would actually say, all right, love, that's fine. Yeah, I know he wouldn't off. do it on a one-off, but you, people know their kids, and I have to say... Do you think I think, you know I think your kids what's better for your kids than the teachers no, because in the, no, the, in the I end, do know the my kids, kids I know take my from kids that, I know my kids better all than the teachers. I know my kids better than teachers because I know my kids I know my kids when they're trying to play me up and when they are genuinely there's something wrong and I think I grew up in a generation where I had actually I've got endometriosis I could never talk to my mum and ev once a month I had the most excruciating pain but I went to school and I don't think I don't think actually that was right for me to have gone through that with no talking, no feelings, <clears> no <throat> nothing. I think, I think having to understand your child and just saying, all right, today is not a good day, you can take a day off. I'm not saying it's a precedent for life, but I think even... I think, I think even adults... Do even adults now and... <laughs> I think even adults now and... Even adults now, We're just every all now and then, too need... soft, too. No, wet. I think we need what? a day off. Well, I've been away. No, I, I think every to now her. and then, <laughs> she's become a snowflake, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Well, even Janet, adults well need to Janet, take time we, off. we asked you uh, our poll: Should kids be allowed <laughs> do duvet I do? days? I do. And sixty-seven percent agree with Syra and say yes, they should occasionally. <laughs> take time out. Yeah. Take time out.
out. But not then good Becky news says no, it doesn't prepare them for adult life. In yes. reality, if we didn't show up for work, we wouldn't get We're not home. talking we every all day. I, I, the only thing is, we have, even as adults, and I don't believe not one person here hasn't done this, <laughs> we've no, all pulled the duvet day, let's be yeah. honest. We've all made that phone call because we just don't want to go in. Charlotte <laughs> says having just a duvet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you. I've never done that, you Colleen. Liar. Never. You liar. <laughs> you have. <laughs> Never you were praying that. for a cold last night. No, so I prayed for <laughs> snow. I prayed for <laughs> snow. Oh, no, I, was yeah. I prayed yeah. for snow and went, I'd quite like to be snowed in. <laughs> 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 but still, be careful what you wish for, because it is snowing <laughs> lots of places.